four, Pima County supervisors making a major decision after continued outrage surrounding the barring of a woman from public meetings. Of course, Nylander has the latest outside the Pima County government complex in downtown Tucson. Chorus. Well, once again, the issue was front and center as it has been for most of the year now. Many residents lashing out at the Board of Supervisors for the decision to ban a regular public speaker here. But by the meeting's end, that changed. She's out there now, once again. In America, we have the rule of law. We have the Constitution. First, the board took what has become a usual earful from outraged members of the public for the decision to ban Shirley Required from attending meetings for three months. A decision made by Chairwoman Adelita Grijalva after instructing the county attorney's office to review her conduct, which determined she made multiple slanderous remarks against Supervisor Matt Hines. Soon after, Supervisor Steve Christie obtained an outside legal opinion, finding the decision to be unlawful. The issue was set to be taken up in executive session today, but a majority of supervisors voted to remove the issue from executive session, and it was still taken up publicly. Supervisors Matt Hines and Rex Scott questioned the intentions behind the outside legal opinion. Scott made a motion to allow Shirley Required back into the meeting starting April 18th, but for the board to receive a response from the county attorney's office on the outside legal opinion. I want to know that we're proceeding on solid ground based on uh, what our attorney advises us. It makes it look like we're going against the county attorney or going against Sam Brown. He's acting on behalf of this board based on the policies that we have put into place or that mm -hmm. the previous board put into place. And in a surprising move, the board unanimously approved Scott's motion to allow required back into the meetings with the caveat for that response from the county attorney's office about that outside legal opinion gathered by Supervisor Steve Christie. Reporting from downtown Tucson, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.